name is Janice and today I'm going to show you how to crochet a scrunchie. This is really easy and fun to make and I hope you find this video tutorial helpful. So let's get started. Dun -da -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun. Dun <laughs> okay, so this is one of the scrunchies that I have already made. It's super cute in person. I also made other colors of that to match with my daughter's outfit. You know. Okay, so let's grab the things that we're gonna need. First, we need a 5mm crochet hook. I use Susan Bates. They're my favorite. I just find them so comfortable to hold. And we need a pair of scissors, of course. And first color of yarn for the border. This one is from Hobby Lobby. It's called I Love This Yarn, which is really lovable and the color is gold ivory I love this yarn, it's super soft and we need the main color I used Karen Simply Soft and the color is called hmm, Watermelon Watermelon and lastly, we need elastics. Elastics, I got them from the dollar store. Okay, to start, we have our elastic band. We have our crochet hook and the main color of yarn. Okay, now. Let's attach the yarn into the elastic. I like inserting the crochet hook into the elastic and grab the yarn. Like that. I'm kind of struggling in there. <laughs> and we chain three. And we do a single crochet into the elastic. Oopsies. And we chain three again. One, two, three. And we single crochet into the ring or elastic. Yeah, ring, elastic. It's kind of the same, right? <laughs> I think it's easier to say just ring, into the ring. How about that? <laughs> now we have two, three chain spaces. And just keep doing that. Three chains. And single crochet. Pull through both loops. Chain three, single crochet into the ring, just like that, and we chain three. One, two, three, and we single crochet into the ring. And we chain three, two, three, and yep, we single crochet into the ring. Ta-da! One, two, three. And we single crochet into the ring. 
just continue to do that until you get to the last stitch. Um, I did 45 single crochet on mine. <laughs> now here we are on our last few stitches. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out framed. There, I'm back. <laughs> And when you get to the last stitch, we're just going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. See that first three chain space? That's where we're going to do our slip stitch. To do a slip stitch, we're just going to insert our hook grab the yarn and pull through to the loop there we have our slip stitch now we made the first round yay okay now we're on the second round and we chain four And here you see the three chain spaces that we made from the previous row. That's where we're going to do the single crochets. Okay now, the single crochet into the next chain space of the previous row. There is our first single crochet and we chain three, two, three single crochet into the three chain space just like that and chain three single crochet into the three chain space and again we chain three it's so easy Right? I'm right. <laughs> Single crochet into the chain space. And we chain three. That's a lot of chains. <laughs> I know. It's gonna be real beautiful. Again, just continue to do it until you get to the last chain space from the previous row. Okay, here I am in my last chain space. Let's do that single crochet. And wait, before we do that final single crochet of the second round we need our other color for the border or they call it edging too whatever whatever you want to call it we just need the second color of yarn <laughs> okay let's let go of the main color of yarn and we grab our other collar and attach it into the hook and pull through both loops of our main collar of yarn. Just like that. And I like to tie the tail of the two colors of yarn so it will be secured and so it won't go anywhere. You know what I mean. So it won't loosen up while you're working with a new yarn. And with our new yarn we go make our chain 3. And 
with single crochet into the first chain space of the previous round just like so ah, we're almost done and now it's time to cut the main color which is pink or watermelon there you go and continue working chain three and we do a single crochet of course into the three chain space of our second round there you have it and we chain three again oops I'm out of yarn <laughs> single crochet And we do the three chains and we single crochet and we chain three oh my god it's almost done it's gonna be really really pretty I promise you <laughs> All right, and with single crochet, yep, again, continue to do it until you get to the last chain space of the previous row. There, here I am on my last stitch, and our last single crochet. There we have it. And which is simply going to do a slip stitch. Yeah, we're super duper almost done. Just cut the yarn. And last part is to hide the tails. One more chain and pull through and pull it tight. There you go. Yep. There we have our tapestry needle that I forgot to mention. Time to hide the tails! Just make sure that when you hide the tails, you're hiding it under the same color so when it's finished it won't show up and won't make your scrunchie like messed up you know like that hiding hiding You can actually have a new pretty scrunchy in just in less than an hour. There you have it.